Uh, my better half. Hi, I'm Colleen Fire Stewart. And we are September Art Studios. We're working alongside um, metal specialist. Yes, yeah. so. I'm currently their CNC operator at, at this business. Um, our proposal uh, is uh, deals with uh, with Lucy Craft, uh, both young and old, uh, as well as uh, other kind of figures, Jane Brown and Jesse Norman, both musical um, prodigies, I would say. Uh, during the day, this is a good example of what it looks like at the top. It's an example of nighttime. It's going to be made out of uh, steel that's going to be uh, mostly rusted um, with some stainless stainless pieces. Uh, the flowers themselves are going to be powder coated uh, to fit. The, the colors as best they can of the flower as they are. Um, behind each figure, there's going to be some type of uh, acrylic or outdoor acrylic to help highlight uh, each figure uh, better so that way you can capture it and it's not exactly see through to help uh, with the noise of the apartments and the trees in the background, uh, as well as just to help illuminate at nighttime. Uh, we're, we'll be using LED lights. <coughs> So overall, the piece at this top point is going to be 30 feet tall, um, and it's a one to four ratio, so it's going to be 120 wide. Um, it's loosely um, inspired by the gamographs, um, which is a kinetic art form where as the viewer moves along um, the art piece, the visual changes. So there's multiple viewpoints um, depending on which way you're traveling. Um, either northbound or southbound. The flowers, um, when we went to go visit um, Lucy Crapwaney's uh, the museum, we walked around her garden, um, and then these are the native varieties of the flowers that are um, planted there. So everything kind of goes back to Lucy. Lucy, in ed ed education, um, she, she was a uh, teacher. Uh, she learned uh, to read and write at age four. Um, got into education to help further uh, that cause as well. Started a nursing program as well here in Augusta. Um, so the, the shape itself is also kind of represents a schoolhouse, or at least the A-frame of the schoolhouse. Um, as well as also Jesse Norman has, has a school here, and from my, my understanding she's opened them up in Atlanta, so it just further uh, pushes the idea of education, paying it forward, uh, giving back to the community. Um, uh, to give you, uh, and also with some of these other ones, to give you good height, like the street lights themselves are about 30 feet tall. So that's about how high this is going to be. Um, even though it seems, actually with all these, these seem to be very large. Uh, once they're outside, they probably will somewhat shrink just because they're not, there's no roof on the top of it. Um, yeah, big space. Uh, we have pamphlets if you'd like to, to take one with you, have more information. Uh, there will be a test on Friday, so I expect everybody to have answers to them. Um, um, the minute we walk off, we're going to have a two second. Yeah. Any questions? Okay, so um, do you want to talk about, um, you've got the Beacon um, Station sculpture that you've done. You've done a lot of public art around here. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, um, we'll talk about Beacon Station. Yes. Yeah, um, I, the cabinet is, is, and even like the bit, my fellow artists, it's like it typically for, for, for some reason visual art is like a, a solo opportunity versus every other art form is a group of some kind, whether it's music, um, you know, you need that. So it's been nice to have um, another artist to work with. And so, yes, we've had a chance to work on some sculptures, on some underpass murals on East Street and Crawford Avenue. I mean, John C. Calhoun, we did those. Beacon Station Apartments. I had a piece up at, in Boone, North Carolina, in App State, something I've been applying to since 2009 when I was in graduate school at Georgia Southern, and App State is Georgia Southern's rival, so I, I just assumed I was never going to get in because I was their rival. So it was nice that last year I finally got in. It was nice that, that, that happened. Um, yes, we've done a lot of public artwork, um, and just artwork in general. Venture to say that also with my fellow artists as well. 
this is, you know, a paying gig, but also a passion that we all that we all share. And we don't, we're not taking questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, should, what someone call the question? Same question. How are you going to mount this? Uh, is it going to be a singular piece, or will it be again, separate pieces? It'd be separate, uh, mounted on separate concrete pieces. Um, to adjust for the form, and I feel like with it, if we try to do one pad, it just would be just would take way too much, way too much engineering as, as well as just uh, construction. So you're, you're indicating that it would be it, there'd be multiple pads, multiple pads for each piece, gravel, stone around it. Uh, that would be it'd be a protective layer for um, for uh, maintenance. maintenance. So or, long as they have to go around. Yes. Right. Yeah. They, they would. They would hurt their equipment before they potentially would hurt our own. Thanks. Yes. Um, the durability and the flowers, the color, and I know you said it was powder coated. So, is there like a warranty time frame, or this is an average lifespan for the color? The powder product? coating can last up like between, you know, I mean, if you take care of twenty to twenty to fifty years. A lot of cars are powder, powder coated. Um, in the presentation I had, I had a uh, um, and your grandma's porch swing. Yeah, the, the, the old metal porch swing. That if you're familiar, a glider. That's 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 powder coated. So it's yeah, it's, it's like ceramics that's been heated up and glassified over it. So um, there's a plethora of colors that we can choose from. So we're gonna, like I said, try to get as close to, as we can to the colors that we need. Um, it may be that we have to rather than be one piece, it might be stack pieces that are bolted together. So I have never heard how to pad a coat until you described it this morning. Would you just run through that again? Because it was so interesting to me. You throw powder and yeah. then you coat it. <laughs> <laughs> You're really being bratty, I think. Uh, uh, but there's like heat involved, yes. Yes, it, it pretty much it, it's a electron. I mean, the basis way to say it, it's like it. Whatever the object is, is, it has like static charge to it. You spray the paint on it, it charges it to it, put it in the oven, and you bake it off for however long, and then it comes out uh, glassified. Uh, there's a bit more to it, but that's just, I would say, the easiest explanation. You had a question? I had a question about durability also. So we're talking about doing like a flexi kind of glass as a basis, right? What's the long term? They make acrylic specifically for outdoor purposes. So, um, I mean, things like on buildings and. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, yeah, like gas stations, so it's all, you know, plastic and stuff like that. So, um, again, I mean, depending on the weather, the elements, you know, there, there may be, this may last longer than what we said or degrade faster than what we said. Um, but there's, we have contingencies to if something does break the defects of some kind. Um, yeah. I would say something bad about it, but that's my idea. <laughs> Any other questions at all? Your silence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.